All right, so I bought a pair of sneakers that I actually was really curious about, uh, and I wanted to give you guys a review of them from a lifestyle perspective. It's a brand new running sneaker from New Balance, as you can see here. And it has this technology that's been around for a little while called Fresh Foam, but this is a revised version called Fresh Foam X. So I uh, wanted to see what the buzz was about and see if this was actually a shoe that I could wear casually or not. And so let's go ahead and get in the video. What is going on guys, Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys would like to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. If you guys are interested in buying a pair of these New Balance Fresh Foam sneakers right here, uh, you can check the link in the description as well. But I figured you probably should stay tuned to the video and I'll let you guys know uh, my, uh, my personal thoughts on this new cushioning system and this new model. I'll be the first to admit that I haven't been a New Balance fan and I haven't been on this uh, New Balance wave from the beginning. I've only bought two pairs of New Balances in my years and this is one of them that I designed. This is the Ocean and Sky version of a New Balance 998 that I designed on their website and I, I really love the way that this one came out. I mean, this is just a super fun uh, version of a bunch of different blues on a pair of New Balance, but that was from their like legacy line. I really haven't given their new technology of the Fresh Foam a chance, and I've heard good things about it. I just haven't personally tried it. So when I was doing a little bit of research out there, I realized that this is a new version of the Fresh Foam, and to somebody like myself that has not been paying attention, this looked like the same exact stuff, and it literally says Fresh Foam on the, uh, the midsole there, but it's actually Fresh Foam X, which is different than the standard Fresh Foam. Anyways, let me show you guys the box real quick because it is a kind of a confusing thing. On the box it says it's the M1080K10, uh, but I thought that this was actually the V10, so if I look it up online, it's actually the Fresh Foam 1080V10, so I don't know why it says K10 instead of V10. I'm assuming that the model is the Fresh Foam 180 and this is the 10th version of the uh, 180. You guys can correct me in the comment section if you guys would like to do so. Again, I don't know the history. I haven't had all of the previous models, but this is the one that caught my eye when I realized it was a different Fresh Foam. So on the tongue, it actually does say Fresh Foam X, even though the midsole just says Fresh Foam, and it looks pretty much the same as the regular Fresh Foam that I've seen, at least. From my perspective, it looks pretty much the same. This one does have a little bit of uh, tiny, tiny little holes all over the midsole, and that's going to probably freak some people out when they look at that up close because at first I thought it was just a, a like a, a graphic and I was like oh, that's kind of neat and then you look uh, up close and you see they're just a bunch of tiny 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 holes and, and I know that triggers people sometimes so I apologize if that's triggering you right now that might be difficult to clean because there's so many different dots in here and if you go and get the midsole and mud it all like that's you're gonna have to dig it out or really scrub hard but overall um the shoe looks pretty crazy like I wasn't like Super sold on the overall shape. I thought it looked interesting. And then I thought that the uh, the design elements of what you have is kind of intriguing, but not super attractive. Like this weird little heel scoop in the back. It looks like kind of like a brain or like worms or something. Like the design of it is just kind of odd to me. It's the same theme kind of, but in a knit version on the upper. And then it comes down and it looks like uh, more of those little wormy things all over the place. But then you have a, a ventilated toe box area right here, and it's nice and stretchy. But then as you work your way up the tongue, it's stretch all the way to here, and then actually from right here, it's a mesh tongue that takes over. And so this is kind of my the best of both worlds thing that I love. It's an attached, detached tongue. So it's detached on the top for more comfort, and just the fact that it has a tongue, so it looks nicer in my opinion. And then it has an attachment like this, with like these neoprene stretchy little uh, things that actually hold the, the tongue in place. Personally, one of my favorite combinations when, when it comes to sneakers. I get that you want some extra reinforcement like right here to help you maybe lock down, or I, I really don't know the purpose of this. It is a firmer material here on the side though, so it's not as soft and stretchy on the front, which adds more structure to the shoe, which I can appreciate. Uh, an N on the side logo, but then it looks like a like wormy volcano design. I'm not a fan of the design. And then you have more of it on this side as well. So the overall like weird look to the design and granted I got it like a pretty simple colorway, but it still is like in hand, it's a little bit disturbing just the overall patterns. It just doesn't look attractive if you will. But all that said, like when I put these on, my mind was blown. I was like, wow, this is like, this is legit on feet. These were really something. So 
Uh, I know I just kind of trashed the shoe a bit, but it was worth it, hopefully, to get to this point to hear that these things are really, really good on feet from a casual perspective. I know that these probably have a cult following for runners, and if you guys are a runner and you guys run in these, leave a comment and let other people know if it's a shoe that you guys like or not. But from a casual perspective, the shoe has a massive amount of cushioning. It's really soft. It's It feels really good on feet. And the most impressive part to me was not only is it wide foot friendly and wide foot friendly because I chose so, as you could see on the box, I actually chose the wide. They actually have an extra wide version, which is amazing in itself that you could actually buy wide foot friendly versions of the shoe and they have wide and extra wide as options. But not only that, but the, the forefoot section here with the amount of uh, fresh foam up in this section, you can actually feel it really, really good when you're taking steps off the toe. And I was really impressed with that because a lot of times with like Adidas Boost, for example, like the Ultra Boost, I feel it mostly in my heel section back here, but there's not quite enough boost in the front section for me to feel like a soft and squishy like transition from heel to toe. I, I don't know, for me, I just wanna have more squishiness up front um, or squishing as I always call, but, but for some reason when I put these on, I was just totally mind blown. Like I felt like I had a pair of like really good Nike reacts on, like that's how good the fresh foam felt to me. Now I will say that I do not know how durable this is. I mean, it's really soft to the touch and it's exposed on the bottom in certain sections like right here. Um, really, really soft to the, to the touch. Again, it reminds me of Nike React, but I don't know how durable this material is gonna be in the long term. That being said, there's a lot of nice traction on the bottom of the shoe. You can see there's some in black in the back and then the toe, a couple different sections broken up in the gray. Um, tread and then in the white section here is just the, the raw foam but man I, I mean I just cannot believe how comfortable and good these were on feet and if they change the shape of the upper and the weird like wormy brainy look to the shoe I think that this would actually be one that I'd be like wow this is something I feel like if this shoe personally had like a collaboration and a lifestyle version like it would be ridiculous people would love it especially with the options of of extra wide and and whatnot wanted to take the insole out it does say fresh foam x right there it's a nice little ortholite insole right here and then on the bottom of here you're not directly on the foam this is actually like what what is it called like a strobel or something like that in the bottom um down through the shoes so i would say that these fit true to size 9.5 is my size i went with a 9.5 wide and these fit like amazing like straight out the box super instant comfort doesn't feel like you have to break them in or anything like that because the foam is so incredibly soft. Um, but the price on these are $150. So this is actually a really good competitive price point. In fact, I want to do a comparison video soon of, of a bunch of different sneakers and roughly the same price point, specifically running shoes that are used casually from people like myself. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are in the same boat where you just want to be able to run in a shoe where you wanna be able to have a shoe that's just really comfortable. And there's a lot of really good running shoes out there. So this is one that I'll compare to the um, Infinity React as an example. The Ultra Boost 20 is another one that really falls in the same line as these. Even the Hoka's, and then there's another pair of Asics that is out there now as well that I wanna be able to compare uh, to these um, also. But all in all, I am super blown away by what was delivered in this pair of sneakers. I mean, it blew away my expectations. Uh, tenfold. I really just was expecting like, oh great, another like lightweight alternative to like a Phylon foam midsole that's going to be like cheap feeling. Like it's not like that at all. Like it really is, uh, it's really squishy and comfortable uh, when I put it on my feet. The other thing is that the shoe is actually really light. It says it's only 9.9 .9 ounces. Just a description from New Balance's website. It says fresh foam 1080 V10 is our premium expression of runner's data, supreme comfort and cutting edge design. The new Fresh Foam X midsole delivers enhanced softness and more energetic rebound than its predecessor. Experience 360 degrees of comfort with the soft fitting knit upper and heel and ultra heel in a stylish new look. The ultra heel is actually not that bad. I mean, it doesn't rub if you don't wear socks or you could just wear these with low cut socks. It doesn't rub, at least it didn't for myself when I wore them with no socks and with low cut ankle socks. But again, I just, I can't get past the overall design of the shoe. There's some other colorways that kind of accentuate the craziness and from a distance, it doesn't look so bad, but it does kind of look cheap in my opinion, just the overall look. It doesn't feel cheap on feet, but it's kind of one of those things where if you're in the store and you're looking at it, you, you might even pass it up from putting it on your feet because it looks like, and I hate to say it, it reminds me of a Skechers shoe when I'm looking at it. And, primarily because I had a black and white Skechers shoe that had 
this knockoff Adidas Boost sort of material on it um, that I did reviews on in the past. So as I already mentioned, I'm not an expert on fresh foam and I really don't know much about New Balance and their technologies, but I did buy this other pair as well just to compare the midsoles because sometimes you get trail shoes like this that have really thick outsoles and then you get light running shoes like this with crazy amounts of cushioning for those long rides or whatever people uh, do with their, their running shoes like that. And then I wanted to be able to compare them with the quote unquote fresh foam material to see if they were comparable or if they felt completely different on two different models. And I have to say, I'm glad I did this because it does say up here, fresh foam X, but it's nothing like the other pair, which is the most confusing part to me. If I squish the, the midsole on this one, it's like a lot firmer than the midsole on this one. Maybe it's just the, the coating of whatever they, they have on this one that makes it uh, the way it is, or maybe it's just the angles. I don't know why it feels so much softer on this one than on this one. Um, maybe it's just my mind playing tricks on me. The bottom of this shoe is insane with all of this crazy traction. It's the Vibram brand, I believe is how you call it, for this uh, rubber on the bottom. I mean, these are crazy looking trail shoes. And actually, I really like the design. Kind of has like some Nike ACG vibes uh, to the shoe. I think it looks really fresh. Only $135 too. Like this is a pretty awesome product for that price point. But I will say it's not as squishy and like soft and like cloud-like as the, the Fresh Foam Runners right over here. And it's probably the intent is not to have that same sort of experience. But that's why it if you know what you want and you want to have like that really soft cloud-like cushiony feel, and you don't know which one to get, you think this one might be better because it's more rugged and it probably can endure more, so it probably has better cushioning or something like that. I mean, it's it's actually probably the opposite. It's firmer, so you don't roll your ankles and everything else. But the design on this one's really, really good. Wide track, really good traction on the, the shoe. And the Fresh Foam X, if that is what is in the shoe, is just not as felt. Personally, for me, it really more reminded me of like a closer to like an Adidas Bounce sort of vibe. Meanwhile, this would be like Adidas Ultra Boost. But that's not to say that it wasn't good. Like just the same as Adidas Bounce. I really like it. It's just not as good as Boost. This is like one of those ones that I'm like, I'm so glad I just decided to, to buy a pair and check it out because um, I wouldn't have known, you know, like shout out to anybody out there that actually might have mentioned these to me in the past and I didn't reply or I didn't even know that you guys maybe um, mentioned it or maybe I did see it and I don't even remember. It's just one of those things I don't remember. Uh, because it's not something I was very familiar with. So when you say New Balance, like I'm like Fresh Foam, yeah, I get it. But Fresh Foam X, there's only one letter difference there. And uh, it's an incredible difference probably on feet. Now, I guess the next thing I need to do is really get a pair of Fresh Foam regular ones and compare them to the Fresh Foam X. But, um, but I can tell you that I really, really dig the product that is delivered in this uh, V10. Um, that is kind of my overall thoughts on it. I will have the comparison between these and the Infinity Reacts and the Ultra Boost uh, 20s. And if you have other shoes that you want to see in that comparison, like leave a comment and let me know and I'll try to see if I can get my hands on uh, some of the other pairs before it's too late. Now that I know that New Balances are rad, I really feel like they need to get more energy behind them of um, like, I don't want to say hype, but like get some collaborations and give me some good colorways and, and some good um, color blocking on a model. Like I think that's one thing that's definitely missing about the shoe is just, the overall shape isn't terrible, the overall look isn't terrible, but the color blocking in the design theme of the shoe is just so odd to me that I just don't really love it. If there's like some sort of reason why it's there, then maybe I'm missing out on some heritage of reasons why it's awesome. But fill me in if you guys know in the comment section. But that's the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Much appreciated. Subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. Hit that notification bell to be notified of when my videos go live. And we will see you guys hopefully for some more videos soon. Peace guys.